So Jimmy Pop, uh, Jimmy Howe will punt again, and Quan Bray fielded the last one deep in his own territory. He should have a better shot at this one. Hubbard got some nice pressure, and they blocked the punt, and they got it. Blake Burgess and the Tigers with a big play on special teams. We might see Frazier run it right here. Straight ahead. Touchdown. Neither combination has worked too well. At the 15. Flags down. Might be a free play here. McCaleb. On Taylor. McCaleb finds a little bit of opening now. He's got great speed. McCaleb with his quarterback in front of him. Down the sideline and out of bounds. And if, in fact, Virginia was offside, this is a huge play for the Auburn offense. There's happening here at quarterback. If you just join us, Clint Mosley was hurt in the first quarter. Two guys you want to get the ball to here. Lutz and Kirkin, number 43, who's right here, and Emery Blake, who's up here. Those are your two playmaker guys in the passing game. Trey Mason, the freshman, is in the Auburn backfield with Trotter. Play fake to him. The slip screen out to Blake with blockers. Blake, and he's down first and goal at the five. Blake and Stallworth out quickly, and they put Trotter in the shotgun. And the end around of a Caleb on a Statue of Liberty touchdown. Nice. Yeah, Cody Parkey's got it teed up. Set to kick away at 10 33, and it's an outside kick. And Auburn's got it. How about that? The kicker doing his thing. Two huge special teams plays for Auburn here in the first half. The block punt, and now Cody Parkey with the onside kick. You try this when you expect that front wall to just turn and run. They go and block. Beautifully executed. Parkey allows it to go 10 yards and then covers <laughs> it up. That Second down and six. They fake the end around. Trotter loads and fires deep. Got a man out there. And it's Blake to the five. He, your power runner now is your quarterback. No other back in the backfield. They fake it to Mason, and Frazier leaps into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. At the last second, got a hand in there. And it's a fake. Hodges is going to be dragged down. Throw it away. Bray, the motion man, as Trotter will come back to the throw to McCaleb this time. And McCaleb's got blockers, and he's got great speed. And out of bounds at the 40. 15. Back at the 41. Lutzen Kirkin in motion now sets up in the slot. And another end around reverse. Quan Bray this time. Quan Bray. And if that's not a face mask, although he gets all the way down to the 20, we may never get a face mask call tonight. On second down and 10 at the 25. Virginia's going to blitz. Trotter on a throwback to McCaleb to the corner. And bye-bye, Ontario. Goal where they scored. Watson Kirkin in motion. And Mason blasts off the left side and he's out to midfield. Another fronter. And he's done all right in his rookie campaign in Carolina. Here's a throwback screen to Emory Blake. Blake made the first guy miss and the second and the third, spinning his way all the way to the 32 yard line. Right now in this ball game. Funny thing, we thought it would be a Minifield Blake matchup. Two guys that are both sons of former NFL stars. On the pitch, Mason might have a first down. And it looks like he will at the 22 yard line. Too far to the sideline. Straight ahead this time. And busting out the backside is Mason. Touchdown. Dominic Terrell waits on Stephen Clark's kick. And he's going to get out of the gotta, way. Got to go catch that. I don't know if he lost that completely. He headed in the exact opposite direction of where the ball was heading. He catch that ball and it's on. For the Cavalier offense. Rocco, and there comes the pressure and down he goes. Gabe Wright. Feet almost out of the end zone. And he had it blocked again out of the back of the end zone. And 
Benjamin Lowe Blackson, another freshman defensive lineman with a block punt. When you're that close to the back line, you don't have time to do a rugby kick. I mean, that's got to be catch and kick. They tried to do a rugby kick, and he held it too long, and Blackman was there for the block. Wow. So add a safety to the Auburn attack tonight. And every time they've made a play in the special teams, it's led to points. And it'll be Bray who will camp under this one at the 22. Reverses his field. Quan Bray's got some blockers. And now the punter won't get him. It's all the way down to the 10-yard line. Sixty-eight yard punt return. Free kick return, I should say. It was a good kick. Probably too good because Bray had a lot of room to maneuver. And then the speed to get outside the punter and outside the edge. And yet again, another special teams play that has gone in the favor of the team wearing blue tonight. He's blocked three kicks this year. Parkey from 45, bad snap. They got the hole down, though, and he drilled it. Sure did. Wow. Ryan White did a great job with a bad snap. Numbers come in losing efforts because you're throwing it every down. His dad's had his eyes closed for half the game. And that one is up in the air and intercepted. Jake Holland, the linebacker, off the tip ball. And Auburn's got it back. And now they're working all the way down to the last second before they snap it. Trotter pump fakes. Now he's in trouble and got a block from Green. Still on his feet. Barrett Trotter looking like Fran Tarkenton here. And he got another block. And he's got a first down. <laughs> wow. There's one coach going out. There's one that will be back in the Plains next year to start his fourth season over the national championship from a season ago. Gene Chiswick just went over to Gus Malzahn and told him to go for it, too. It's fourth down and uh, less than one. Frazier. And that big body of his just got the one. And we don't need a fight in the last minute and a half of the for their coach. And that will be the last snap. Still undefeated in bowl games, Gene Chizik. And the SEC prevails over the ACC in the Chick-fil-A Bowl.